All right, so today we're going to be unboxing my Lego base, Lego Random Booster number one. And we have here three possible bays, a Lego Achilles Hurricane Dash Assault, a Lego Satan Penny Square Drift, and of course the prize bay, Lego Ashura Dash Paradox Resist F. So let's open it up. All right, first up we have, let's see, our layer Lego Achilles. So this is a slight recolor. It's got some transparent here on the outside. Uh, this chip, I think, or something is from Zeus. And yeah, just a bunch of red, pretty normal colors. And then next, we have the weight and frame Hurricane. Um, it has its free spinning ring. It came in Lego Ashura originally. And as you can see, there's a bit more metal to it uh, here and here compared to the regular Hurricane, which is why this is Hurricane Dash. And then finally, we have the, oops, our driver assault, which is just this regular flat Lego plastic piece, has pretty good stamina and pretty good attack. So putting the thing together, we have our first combo, Lego Achilles Hurricane Dash Assault. Right, so weighing the parts here, we have Lego Achilles is pretty standard, about 16. And then Hurricane Dash is 21.6, a bit heavier than Hurricane. And then of course, yeah, you don't really care about the driver much. And in total, this combo weighs 37.84 grams um, with this driver, and this attacking shape, it should have some pretty good attack. All right, let's give this Achilles combo a test launch. Three, two, one, let it rip. All right, so pretty quick. Moving on to the second bay. We have our Lego Satan recolor. So as you can see, it's got this pretty slick light blue, blue, purple, and a gold center uh, look. So of course, Lego Satan comes with these two rollers on each side. They work really well. I mean, it feels really smooth. And overall, just a pretty round shape. It's got the penny weight inside, which is pretty standard. And then moving on to the frame, we have a light green square frame. Again, this is pretty normal. Uh, the square frame came with Lego Hades, I believe. And it's just a pretty good and heavy frame, but it can also scrape a lot. And then finally, we have the driver, which is a new driver. It's called Drift. So while the name implies that it's a defensive driver, it's actually an attacking driver, uh, but it can drift really well like on the outside of the stadium. Uh, we'll show you just a bit in these test battles or test launches that it can drift really well And besides from all that drifting, it's also got a pretty wide circular base, so it should have some good attack And there we have our second random booster combo the layer and weight together uh, weigh 39.95 the frame 2.22 and the driver as 1.8 grams. So putting it together, we have this combo at 43, eh, 44 grams. Now to giving this Satan combo test launch with the drift driver. Just watch, this is gonna be pretty epic. Three, two, one, let it rip. That wasn't the best launch for drifting. Three, two, one, let it rip. Oh, are you? Three, two, one, let it rip. Oh, all right, there we go. That was some pretty nice drifting. So I noticed that the rollers kind of hit the walls there, which you could consider as an additional feature or kind of a disadvantage. And then moving on to our third and final bay, we have, I believe, our prize bay. So here we have a Lego Ashura Dash recolor. As you see, compared to the regular Lego Ashura, 
Uh, this one kind of keeps the eight bladed shape, um, but they are larger, protrude outwards more, and are a bit spikier, meaning that it could add some recoil. Overall, I say this is an improvement compared to the regular LEGO Ashura, except for this one has four metal nuts on these sides, which of course can boost stats. And then, next we have another new part, which is Paradox, a fused weight and frame. So immediately it's obvious that this metal ring is huge, like it is... I mean, this is a big layer, but if you compare it to Lego Ashura, it is it is going to be the primary contact point, just like uh, Paradox. Right here, it is about even, I'd say, with the Lego Ashura dash blades. And overall, it just uses these hooks on the sides to keep the metal in place. Um, and it's only a little bit unbalanced, uh, but of course, it'll make a larger difference since it's so much wider. Uh, with the outside, this is here, and this is not here, and the rest of it is kind of like a blue shape uh, to convert it into Lego. And then finally, for the driver, we have Resist F. So Resist is, of course, this flat bar surrounded by a larger circle, and here the driver comes in a free spin form. Overall, I'd say this is actually a top-tier driver, given its stamina, and stability from the ring and free spin just makes it makes it better and I guess cooler. So the Ashura Dash layer weighs 14.19 grams. The Paradox weight, of course, since it's so outside, uh, is really light at 20.22 grams. And then the driver, meh, 1.57 grams. Putting it together, we have the full Lego Ashura Dash combo at 36 grams. And finally, test launching the prize bag Lego Ashura Dash. Three, two, one, let it rip. All right, seems pretty stable. Uh, gotta love that sound that the driver makes when it free spins. Uh, seems like it's losing stamina a bit quickly. Uh, seems like these blades are kind of flying out a little. That could cause a bit of unbalance. So you might have to secure them into place. All right, now let's do a couple battles with the random booster base. Three, two, one, let it. Hit. Three, two, one, let it. Hit. And then now we'll go like a sure dash versus Satan. Three, two, one, let it. Hit. Three, two, one, let it. Hit. And the drift driver doesn't have much stamina. And then finally, back to Lego Achilles versus Lego Assure Dash. Three, two, one, let it. Whoa! Three, two, one, let it. Great defense by Assure of it. Alright, so that was my first Lego Beyblade random booster. Uh, tell me how you feel about it, um, what I could do better to improve the reviewing process, and also what you think of these bays. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time, and LEGO Bays out.